It's a new wave of the Vintage Collection, and I've already talked about the Artillery Stormtrooper, and I'll be talking about Andor and Velsartha in their own video. However, I wanted to review the Clatoonian Raider, Cal Kestis, and Luke Skywalker together, since, you know, they're kind of Mandalorian, and then just Cal on his own, I guess. Yeah, I kind of review TVC stuff in clumps, and I felt like, uh, especially with Andor, I want to talk about that Andor figure a little bit more, so... That will, that will definitely be its own video whenever I get Vel. I've not gotten her yet, but I have the Clatoonian, Cal, and Luke. Let's get into it. These are really nice figures. Uh, one of them is basically a reissue of a vehicle pack-in. Uh, a vehicle pack-in that I never got because I didn't get that vehicle because I already had two of those ATSTs. I didn't need the same thing in different colors, so I didn't get it. And I'm happy to have the Raider now because it's a cool-looking design. Cal's really cool. First time we've gotten him in three and three quarter inch because we totally passed over Jedi Fallen Order when it comes to vintage collection, except for the Purge guys. So yeah, now we have Cal in a figure form in three and three quarter inch as well as BD1, which is really exciting. And then Luke is a very, you know, no nonsense retool redeco of a figure we've already had, but it's a very good one. It's one that definitely serves its purpose in the collection. I'm very happy to have it. So let's get into it. Clatoonian Raider first because he, uh, Raids the Clatoonians, I don't know. Uh, yeah, his card art is kind of cool. Since he's a vehicle driver, they just show his vehicle. Kind of, uh, you know, in line with what we saw with vintage Kenner stuff. You know, like TIE Fighter Pilot. It was just the TIE Fighter on the box. Yeah, kind of cool. I do like the ATSD Raider. I just didn't really have a spot for it in my collection. You can kind of see him, though. Uh, I think it's... Is that Mando running away, or is it just another Raider? Yeah, I can just see Raiders at the bottom, you know. And then the back... We can look at the rest of the, the stuff. Older Kenobi things. Then we've got the artillery I've already talked about, as well as Vel and that Cassian Andor. Oh, yeah. But there's a card art for him. Figure itself is pretty basic. He is essentially a retool, repurpose of one of those old Jabba's Palace Clatoonians. That's pretty much all he's got going on. But still, he's really cool. I really do like him. If my camera will get in focus on him, that would be great. Yeah, he's, he's pretty simple. He does have a gun, you know, pretty standard, like, skiff gun. I do like the gun that's, like, molded onto his torso, but unfortunately he can't take it out. Uh, but it looks cool. It looks cool there. Kind of makes sense. At least you give him a gun, unlike other lines that mold guns in the holsters and you can't take them out. Mm. Looking at you. Looking at you, Marvel Legends. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. You can take the, the hood off, and you see the Clutoonian head underneath, even though you don't want to rotate it all the way around, because, oh no, they didn't paint it all the way. <laughs> yeah, they like made it in this base color, and then they painted the face, but they did not paint the rest of the head. So that's kind of unfortunate. Still, it's a cool-looking head. It's just a cool-looking guy overall, man. You can't see some of those, like, skiff guard pieces. You know, he's, he's definitely... Pretty much like, you know, an old Clatoonian skiff guard. Even has the T-cut legs like we saw back in the day. Kind of nostalgic seeing T-cuts still show up from time to time. And some people probably complain like, oh, why didn't they give him new legs? Man, it's three and three quarter in Star Wars. It's nice to get the super articulation, but for me, it's all about the world building. It's all about the characters. And I'm just happy to have this guy in my, you know, Mandalorian collection now. Because I felt like that was a pretty iconic episode. And also, it's just a nice random thug man for Mando to kill. You know, it's cool. Yeah, the detail's really nice, man. The, the, the paint on newer vintage collection stuff is remarkable. It's absolutely exquisite. I almost feel like these are little models nowadays. Like, I see all the little silvers punched in. And the little wrap right there. And all the unique colors. And it just makes me think, like, am I really getting an action figure? Or is it, like, a little model? It's like a little posable model of this guy. And it's just really nice. I really like it. Now, granted, yeah, it's still a toy, which is great. It just looks really good now. <laughs> it looks really, really good. His so articulation, you kind of got a, an idea of it. It's pretty basic. He's got a single ball joint at the head, which with the hood on gives you a decent range. But you can see it's going to start messing with the hood a little bit. You can get it moving up to you know, a decent extent. And you can you know have him look down a little bit. Shoulders are on big old ball hinges. Uh, elbows are on ball hinges. Swivels at the wrist. Swivel at the waist. Very creaky swivel. 
Swivel at the hips, ball hinge knees, and ball hinged ankles. Man, just saying that. Swivel at the hips, ball hinge knees, and ball hinge ankles. It reminds me of like how Sith Lord 229. Shout out to you if you're watching this, by the way. Uh, it just reminded me of how he like ran down the articulation like on these figures back in like 2010 and all that. He was like, swivel at the hips, ball hinge knees, and ball hinge ankles. It just, ah, oh, man, the nostalgia. <laughs> hi, hi, by the way, if you're watching. Uh, yeah, really like this guy. Really cool. All right, so there's him. Then next up, got to talk about Cal Kestis because my camera wants to focus on him very badly because he has a very real human-looking face. But let's look at the card first. And there goes the Glatoonian's card. Very nice. Oh, killed him. Perfect. Nice. Okay, let's get you back. Let's get you... Yeah, there. Boop. No, let's not drop you. Perfect. Boom. Yeah, I like the card. I don't know what planet he's on. I don't really know much about the new game whatsoever because it hasn't come out yet. Yeah, I like BD1 on the on the shoulder. He's got a bit of a stubble now. He's grown up a little bit. Yeah, it's cool. It's a cool card. Really nice picture they picked. Then the back, pretty much the same with the character selection. One thing I did notice, the backs are always going to be different. Uh, not just because of that, but because it has like a little accessory count. It includes two figures and three accessories. That's kind of cool. It says includes two figures with this one. Because, I mean, you do get two figures. But... Let's talk about him. So, Breen and Cal. What can I say, man? What can I say? It, it just looks so good. <laughs> They've done such a remarkable job with these three and three quarter inch stuff nowadays. And that's not really proper English, but I'll just roll with it. Yeah, they just do such a good job. Like the little punched in paint right there. A little bit of color on the shoulder. The gun, too, is really nice. I like the gun. Cool looking. Cool looking. Whoa, cool looking. Yeah, got a little lightsaber hilt right here, which is the same lightsaber as, you know, the one he's holding. But in the game, you can, like, customize sabers and have them with a small saber, like, dual wielding and everything. So the way I see it, you know, if I want him with a saber on his hilt still, that's just his second saber he's not using. You know, he's you can customize him in the game. That's my point. You can get him with a gun in his hand. And it works. It really works. He's got the nice up and down because that's how they do it now. Yeah, he looks great. Zooming in on the head as I have him in this awful, like, 5 POA pose. That's a nice looking head. I mean, that's Cal Kestis from the game. That's him. Looks really nice. I like the little stubble. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. The costume design's pretty nice, too. I think it definitely looks better than how he looked in the first game. Yeah, I'm really happy to have a Cal. You know, I've never played the game. I will someday. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just nice to have him. I think the gun's really cool. He just poses really well. I do have to say, speaking of his articulation, his hips are kind of spongy. Like, you can kind of see how they spring back a little bit. I feel like the peg is wanting to twist along with the joint, and that's just, that's just no good. So keep that in mind. Maybe work the joint. Maybe heat it up a little bit. Just don't break your figure, please. So, that's Cal. We also have to talk about his little buddy. Little BD1 right here. This is actually pretty impressive. It, it is what you would expect it to be. It's just a little tiny BD-1. It's got a lot of nice paint on it. You know, little reds here and there. I love the back panel. That looks so nice. That looks really cool. And you can swivel his legs, and he's got a ball joint at the head. It's really nice that they included BD-1 with this. They could have easily decided to uh, not... And instead make this like some stupid deluxe set. But hey, I'm happy that they went all out on this, you know? Like, this release is definitely well worth the money. Like, yeah, Little Droid and Cal Kestis with, you know, the, the accessories he comes with. And his articulation, yeah. This is definitely one that's well worth it. The Clatoonian, you know, maybe if you're wanting it, wait for a sale. Because it is a more basic one, but it, it is, again, covered in paint. And I just totally judo flipped the saber off the desk. Okay, talking about Cal's articulation, because, you know, we have to. It's the whole point of a review. Uh, <laughs> double ball joint at the head. I'm pretty sure it's a double. Yeah, he's got the, the dumbbell joint right there. It wants to focus in on his face on the card back so bad. Oh, man. Yeah, he's got ball hinges at the shoulders, ball hinges at the elbows. Really nice ball hinges at the, the wrists there. Those work really well, and you get a lot of range with those. The waist is kind of disappointing since it's just a swivel, pretty much, from what I can tell. At least that's all it wants to do. Then again, with the hips, keep in mind they're kind of spongy. But once you work them, you know, you can get them forward pretty well. 
uh, thigh swivel, ball hinge knee, and then he's got the, the nice up and down and the rock at the ankle too. So yeah, articulation on Cal's really nice. He just never wants, these things never want to focus because they're so tiny. My camera hates how small they are. They hate them. Okay, there's Cal. Really nice. If I have one complaint, uh, I wish there would have been a, a nice way to like, you know, put BD1 on his shoulder. You know, maybe like a little a little slot in his uh, strap on the back or something would have been nice. So I just think it's a nice look. That's how I want to display him. But, you know, it's, it's an action figure. You're kind of limited with what you can do. Still, though, it's a nice figure. I really enjoy it. And last up is the action figure of the most hype Star Wars moment of all time, Luke Skywalker, when he showed up on the Imperial Light Cruiser. Very nice picture. I think they picked a really nice picture for that. I think it looks good. I, I like it. I don't, I don't know what else to say. I like it. And then the back. Yeah, same same thing. <laughs> you can see right there it says figure and three accessories. Even though technically I'd say he has four, but, you know, we'll talk about it. Yeah, really cool. Really cool little card there. And then the figure itself. You see I've got him posed in the iconic, you know, lightsaber out when he was walking. Man, I just got to talk about, for, you know, just real quick. This moment in the show, when Luke showed up, I have never been more hyped for anything I have ever seen on a screen before in my entire life. I have never, you know, watching a movie, watching a show, my heart has never raced as fast. I have never been more excited. Luke showing up and that never being leaked and me not being spoiled for it was such an amazing experience. I wish I would have been able to see that on the big screen, but hey, seeing it in my living room was still just as exciting. And having this figure of it and seeing how well replicated it is, I'm pretty happy. I think I think they did a pretty good job with this. A lot of people have been complaining with Luke Skywalker figures from The Mandalorian that the costume uh, resembles his look in Return of the Jedi more than in Mandalorian, where they kind of just reuse the Return of the Jedi figure. And that's kind of the case here. It's pretty much just a Return of the Jedi Luke repurposed. But I think it works pretty well. I, at least for me, it works well enough. You know, the body's not really much different. The head's not really different. You know, the belts, you know, it seems accurate enough. Like, he seems accurate enough at a glance. Like, you can look at this and you're like, yeah, that's Luke from The Mandalorian. He pretty much was in the same costume as he was in Return of the Jedi, just with some slight tweaks. It doesn't really bug me that it's ever so slightly inaccurate. But I, you know, I just want to point that out for those that it does bug. Okay, so his three accessories, obviously he's got his lightsaber right here, because, you know, he kind of needs that to destroy the Dark Troopers. You do get a hilt, per usual, and the hilt does connect somewhere on him, right there. So, for me, every once in a while, I just kind of keep the hilts on the belts, even if they're already holding the lightsabers, because even though it makes zero sense whatsoever, at least it keeps all the accessories on him. Man, that does not want to go in. There we go. I got it. And in the case with this Luke, he's going to be shrouded in his cloak so much, you know. Might as well just keep that on him. <laughs> I'll probably just keep it on him. And uh, for some stupid reason, he comes with his Jabba's Palace blaster, which is funny enough, uh, basically the same blaster that you get with the Clatoonian, except it's nicely painted. So if you want, you know, you could just give this nicely painted one to the Clatoonian and just toss that in the bin. I'll probably end up doing that because this Luke has no reason to have a blaster because he didn't use that in the show. But yeah, it's really nice. Like I said, I do feel like he has an extra accessory since he's got the cloak, which you can remove. And you can have that folded down and, you know, have his face exposed. And the face, you know, they've never gotten Mark Hamill's likeness perfect. They never have. They probably never will. I don't know why. They just can't figure it out. But I mean, it looks like him, you know, enough. It's not a spitting image like certain other figures that they do. Uh, cough, cough, Cassie and Andor, cough, cough. Uh, I can't wait to show that off. I have to wait until I get Vel, but I can't wait to show that Cassian. But yeah, you know, it, it does its purpose. And you can remove the, the head. It's just on a, you know, the classic big old ball joint and remove the cloak. So like I said, technically I would say he has four accessories since he's got the cloak. But yeah, you know, you can remove that. And this gives you a better look at the body itself. Because he's got a ball joint, ball hinge, ball hinge. He's got the, the hinge up and down at the wrists, which is nice for articulation. Like, look at that. You wouldn't be able to pull that off without the wrist hinge. Swivel. He does still have the ball joints, or the ball hinges, I should say, at the hips. But I feel like for Luke, they work really well. 
I wouldn't really be too mad if they never updated that for him. Because it just, it works well enough, you know, it just works. Swivel with the thigh, ball hinge at the knee, and he's got the, the ankle rockers. So yeah, very nice new body. Uh, he's just kind of a little behind with the, the swivel and the ball hinge, and he has totally lost focus. But, you know, that's just, that's just how it is. They don't want to focus. Sometimes I'm editing these videos, and it drives me crazy that, like, why is it not in focus? Why, gosh, oh my god, why was I thinking? This is how they are, man. They're super tiny. They don't want to stay focused with me moving them around all the time. I do have to say, getting the cloak on and getting it over his head is one of the easiest experiences I've had with a, a three and three quarter inch cloak pretty much my entire collecting life. It just works so well. It's so fluid. It just, it looks nice. Especially at the scale. Like, yeah, that's Luke from Mandalorian. Boom, there you go. It's bushy enough. It's big enough. It covers him up enough. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Really nice figure. I really like it. It is what it is, you know, it's a repurposed Return of the Jedi Luke for Mandalorian, and I think it works well enough, does its, does its job, serves its purpose. So there we go. There is my look at the latest wave, at least about half of it, of the Vintage Collection. Like I said, I already covered the artillery in its own video, and I'll be covering the two Andor figures in their own video sometime here soon, sometime in the future. I'll talk about them. But here we go. Here is a, a few new three and three quarter inch figures for your collection, unless you already have the Clutunian Raider, in which case, you know, buy another one. It's it's a army builder, pretty much, you know, it, just get another one. Why not? It's, it's only money. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Special shout out to channel members as well. Thank you all so much for the continued support. You get early access to videos. I'm going to try to get some more exclusive content out for you guys. You know, channel, you know, video shout outs every single video. Yeah, if you want to support me, I really appreciate it. Alrighty, guys, there we go. Have a great one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.